the largest bottleneck is the patient's access to medical solution. The patient is forced to wait for the diagnosis, while we know very well that the time to solution is crucial for the best outcome. In order to become a medical doctor, one needs to study textbooks and manuals. With the rise of digital health solutions, we can combine all this knowledge into a condensed system. I believe that medical technological solutions and digital solutions that are developed by Untitled Kingdom and its partners will allow us to overcome this barrier. Remote patient monitoring is a milestone in healthcare system. It will benefit and it benefits the patient, the healthcare system itself, and the society as a whole. Antenna Kingdom is a software and product development company for medtech products. And we are a team of specialists who guide our partners. We help them with digital product strategy, software development, hardware, feasibility study, and testing. So if you develop a digital health solution, regardless of the stage of your product, you should reach out to Antenna Kingdom. Technology makes us equal, means that regardless your location, social economic background, sexual identity or financial status, you should have an access to high quality services. And when you talk about medtech industry or digital health, we need to do everything we can to give access to high quality medical services to people all around the world. We have this moral obligation to use our talents and skills to give it back to the society. And we can create products that can really improve people's lives. The product development workshops as a part of our discovery phase are where it all starts for all our products. We organize intense brainstorming sessions with our experts and with our team. And we begin with asking as many questions as possible until we get to the root of users' need for this product. Any company that is developing a product on any stage of product development can benefit from workshops like that. Those sessions that take three to five days and we really dive very deep into the problem and into all of the solutions that are possible. With new technologies, we have a lot of new opportunities to help doctors and all the healthcare in general. New technologies like machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence, or basically any sort of uh, advanced algorithms, we can look for patterns in the data and with the help of those algorithms, we can create more uh, personalized treatment options uh, for our patients. For us, at least technology is just a tool. And so that's why we want to have that toolbox as extensive as possible to be able to always pick the right solution uh, for the problem we want to solve. I always have goosebumps when I read one of our users' feedback. He had been listening to uh, one song when he was young with his parents. And after a few decades, he used our hearing aid solution. And he heard this song for the very first time with all of the nuances. And he said that he had tears streaming down his face. When I hear a story like that, I know that we are working on extraordinary solutions and we are changing people's lives. Remote patient monitoring is a milestone in healthcare system. A patient gets access to device and information about their status. The healthcare system is lifted off the pressure of the patients waiting in line to have this information collected for them. This can be done remotely. As a cardiac surgeon, with the hard work I'm doing, I can impact maximum two to three human lives a day. Working with Untitled Kingdom allows me to impact much more and much more many human lives. The principle of designing a good product is always the same. It's designing it for the user and with the user on every and each step of the way. We create products that require a minimum engagement from the user while giving them the most value that we can give them. Products that users can forget about, to forget about their medical issues and just have improved lives. Everything we get needs to be verified. We have to make sure that it takes into account different types of people, different challenges, different races. 
and uh, different genders. Cybersecurity in healthcare is really critical. We as software providers, software developers, we are responsible for uh, making sure that those products are secure. Healthcare professionals don't have to worry about it, so it's actually our thing to include and apply all those security-related activities into every phase of a software development process. And it really needs to be at the forefront of uh, all developers' minds. Every human being, in order to make a good decision, needs data and information. For I have realized that even engineers need medical information to just to work better and more efficiently. When they develop medical solutions and technological solutions, they need to understand the need. They need to see the end of the pipeline, which is the patient. Whenever I talk to medical practitioners, they tend to point out that one of the biggest challenges is convincing patients to use the solution responsibly and on a regular basis. And with the at-home patient monitoring devices, there's a chance to increase patients' engagement. We'll be able to provide more data to practitioners. Digitalized solutions will allow to process all the information and perform all the burden of administrative tasks that are being put on the medical professionals. We will gain time. So we may give much more time and restore the satisfaction of direct medical professional and patient interaction. Some data bias is unavoidable. What we can do is educate ourselves and others on diversity, different needs. We need to confirm everything with our users. We need to make sure that they're happy with the product and that it responds to their needs. For medical products to evolve worldwide and become more helpful, first, they have to become more inclusive. We have to start focusing on diverse groups of people instead of focusing on one particular group while excluding everyone else. At Untitled Kingdom, we ensure that the products that are released are less demanding from the users and less invasive on their privacy. Uh, less demanding of their time, of their efforts, of their data. And I think that in a sense, technology can really be equal. We can support it or we can protest it. We can enforce the change. We can all be the change with the technology. With the use of digital health solutions, we have the great opportunity to shift the current healthcare model of putting down the fire into a solution that would be preventing the fire to start at all. We need to discuss how our actions affect the humanity and the future of our world. And the best we can do is to live world cancer-free, Alzheimer-free, and with the modern diagnostic solutions. We all deserve to have an access to high-quality healthcare services. We are all equal, and we all equally want to live.